So let me show you a few conventional trees. Here's a, wooden, a typical wooden spring tree, as you can see. Placing on the horse here, and as I explained earlier, uh, how the shoulder weight actually moves back so far, and the bulk of the shoulder that then has to try and squeeze under these tree points here. This is a tree point that comes down straight, um, and so does the gullet. It actually, the angle of the gullet is not the shape of the shoulder, it's actually more the shape of the behind the shoulder here. Here's a um, tree similar design but in newer more modern materials uh, much stronger tree you can adjust the, the, the gullet but you can actually see that the tree points are shorter on this one and in fact we've got a point here you can also see imagine that the shoulder blade moving back is going to squeeze under here pinch your trapezius muscle and therefore restrict the horse's movement one of the trees which is quite common in jump saddle trees. You can see the tree point actually angling forward here into the horse's shoulder. I just can't imagine how painful that would be for, for some horses, um, particularly when a horse is jumping and going over the jump and this is pressing in behind their shoulder. And I've seen it time and time again in competitions where the horse wants to land and run away or the horse doesn't want to pick his legs up as far as he wants to ride up to his chest. So this one here, is uh, also you can see from the front here it actually curves into the horse it doesn't allow any shape of the shoulder remember our shoulder, the shoulder is this big here so finally we've got a stride free tree and you can see already that the load bearing surface is much broader it's flexible especially then with the, uh, the body heat of the horse and it's more open so this shoulder here when it actually moves back there's room for the um, shoulder to slide through into this tree here, into this gullet. Um, if I compare it to the previous tree, simply by placing it on here, and this also accounts for dressage trees, or the same is from here to here. Basically the dressage tree of course has a deeper seat, but everything from the front is the same. Look at the difference here between the stride free tree and the tree point of this uh, laminated timbers jump tree and you can see also from front on how this is more open and this is more closed pressing into the shoulder and the top of the trapezius muscle so there we have it uh, a big difference in trees also the tree has a steel gullet plate here it's very adjustable unlike the one underneath here that has been adjusted only three millimeters thick and it's broken